tournament game. Um, the crowd was amazing. Um, I thought NC State was awesome from the beginning to the end. I felt like Diamond Johnson just really took over. Um, she was she was fantastic. Um, but again, um, I thought we were down. Obviously, we were down the first half, but I was really proud of the fight that we had. Um, my team in the third quarter uh, put that press on and really got the game to a two possession game. Um, so it's a lot of lot we can learn from. A lot of bright spots. Um, but again, just a great ma matchup. Um, hats off to NC State. Coach, you talked about what you can learn from uh, with, with Mabry out with the, with the injury to, to Ebo. You got some, some bench players that stepped up today, um, Prosper. Are you figuring out like who else you can rely on in, in the midst of these injuries? Yeah, um, when you have um, adversity, it gives, allows um, your team to want somebody to step up um, in the absence of some of our, our leaders and our players. Um, so that's what we did, um, just next person in. I thought Cass was phenomenal. She was a huge spark on the bench today. Um, she's still growing and learning, so um, just I was really proud of her. Um, yeah, we got some really great minutes from the bench, and she was a big bright spot for us. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. Is it Are you having to kind of figure this out? Do you have a pretty clear idea of, like, we go with what we've got, or do you say, I'm going to tinker with this, I'm going to experiment with this? Because you got to figure out, I guess, what the best fit is. Yeah. The lineups. Yeah, I'm trying to do that within like within practice and lineups and what I'm running. Um, I have to adjust every game, so I had to adjust with not, out, without having Ebo, so I knew what to expect for that today. Um, and then we, you know we got Boston College on the road, so I'll adjust to that. But I'm learning as I go with the with what I have. Um, you know my top six, um, especially with my core starters. You know they know my expectation of them. Um, I know what to do with them. It's just adding different pieces um, and kind of trying to. Um, narrow the offense well, with, with such new players and um, different lineups is what I'm trying to do. Simplify things um, with such different adjustments with um, injuries. Maddie, you kind of filled up the stat sheet, 13 rebounds and five assists and had a couple threes. Um, did, did you feel like you had to do more um, with, with some of your teammates out or was things just working for you as they came to you? Um, I mean, I think we all knew going into the game that everybody had to give a little bit more. So um, I knew that would take a while. I had to be more aggressive on the glass. Um, and then with their out, obviously, they were going to pack it in. So um, the three was going to be open. But just I think just being aggressive wherever my team needed me um, was my mindset going into it. Question, just what did some of the things State did in the second and third quarter to create the separation? And then how did you guys address that in the fourth quarter to get back and make it competitive? Yeah, well, I felt um, execution-wise, we didn't execute. We either took quick shots, which led to transition buckets for them, and which got the crowd into it. So I would say either turning the ball over or our shot selection really ignited their break. Um, and I felt like that's what kind of turned the corner and separated um, them from us in that third quarter. And then my adjustment was throwing, um, showing the press. We got some steals, um, got some buckets off of our defense, which um, ignited us, which was great. And you mentioned the crowd, man. You've came here a few times. This is mm -hmm. your, your thoughts on the rentals, and is this a, how difficult of a place is this to play? Oh, very difficult. I'm happy that you guys are coming to us next year. <laughs> no, it's a great place to play. Um, I just love it, the environment for women's basketball. Obviously, this was an ESPN game. Um, incredible matchup. Um, the crowd community is always extremely um, kind. They're, um, you know, they're just great women's basketball fans. You love to see that. So this is definitely one of the toughest places to play. Yeah, you, there's Ohio State lost the third straight game. You guys lost twice in the state of North Carolina. It seems like top ten teams has not been easy. The old days of a huge gap doesn't seem to be there. I don't know if that's West thought maybe the transfer portal, but do you sense more parity in the sense of that gap that just isn't there for these top teams that used to have a sort of a barrier with everybody else? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of parity um, right now, which is great. Great for the game. It means the, great, the game is growing, which is what you want. Um, but yeah. I mean, every night, especially in the ACC, the ACC is the strongest league, um, and you know we have just a tough stretch. Every night is a is a, is a really hard opponent, but I think there's a lot of parity in women's basketball right now, which is great. All right, we'll go to Zoom. If you have questions on Zoom. All right. I'll I'll speak up, Coach. Can you? I'll speak up. All right, Anthony, go ahead. Uh, Neil, uh, can you fill us in on uh, 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 Lauren's injury, uh, when that occurred, and how long she's out, what, what it is? Yeah, there's no timetable right now. It's just a lower body in injury, um, so she just needed rest today. When, when did you find out, or when did your team find out, and you had to adjust? Yeah, yesterday. Just
just yesterday. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Was it at practice? Um, just kind of lingering, so it wasn't at practice. Can you talk, uh, Coach, about that last minute? Uh, just getting shots off, how difficult it was in that last minute? Yeah. Um, yep. Just again, just end of game, end of game. Um, I thought uh, NC State defense was really tough. We were just trying to find different gaps with the things that we were running. We had a couple specific plays that we were looking at, um, but I feel like they defended as well. All right, one more if we have them. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.